you almost got me. Oh, you almost got me. Oh, but you didn't. But you didn't. And I'm like, come on through, Corky. I want to pull my soap box. That's basically it. Let's talk about drag and all its forms. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is my review for Season 8, Episode 6 of Basketball Wives. That Jen, you almost got me, you heifer, but you didn't, honey. See, when people show yourself, honey, don't buy into the hype, honey. You got Shawnee, but you didn't get me sugar. Anyway, so listen, all of this, when we started up, I was like, this is crazy and this is not going to end well all of this avoiding each other in the house and 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 then all of them didn't want to go to dinner together and I was like this that this is a mess this is a mess and this is going to end messy sure enough then there was the one little scene where OG and Jennifer and Dominique were sitting on a little chase and um Evelyn and Phoebe and Malaysia were walking by and OG, see, OG, you always trying to be that girl. You always trying to go for tough. And this is the thing that everybody really is so bought and sold on the fact that OG's tough. If OG gets beat up <laughs> at some point, everybody gonna be looking real crazy. Like, <laughs> yeah. But she's always trying to go for tough. People who go for tough, mm, mm, it's always a joyous day when you get tore up. So it's really not good to go for tough because there's always somebody tougher than you. And it's generally somebody that you underestimate. That's all I'm saying. Just watch yourself, OG. But anyway, she going to be the one to speak. Oh, Malaysia, you don't want to sit well? She will say, uh, no. And I said, Lord have mercy. I don't blame you, girl. No, not at all. And they went on. Then that little thing with Jackie. What is, what's up, Jackie? Jackie bullied Kristen out of that room. That was shady. That was very shady. And Jackie was being a bitch about it. And my thing, I thought that Shawnee should have just fixed it. I thought, because you got Kristen and her girlfriend going to be sharing the room together. I just felt like Shawnee should have just made Jackie move out of the room. Like, for real. Be fair. Quit playing. Jackie ain't nobody special. And I don't know why Jackie took solace in that. It wasn't cute. It really wasn't cute. I just thought it was just really petty. It was petty. It was an old, crotchety, crankety, old bitch move. I didn't like it. And she thought it was so cute. I was like, mm, whatever. It'll come back on you later, Jackie. It sure will. Anyway, then they went on outside, honey. Everybody's outside together. And then they, it all, shit just popped off. And Evelyn was just up here with it. And she got all in Jen's face, baby, and threw that goddamn drink on Jen. I said, Oops. didn't I tell you somebody was going to throw another drink on you, girl? This time, it was an overhanded drink thrown on you. You know, you're used to getting them underhanded and in the face. This time, it was overhanded, girl. Got you again. I said, you'll never get enough. You'll never get enough. And then you'd be talking stupid. You're talking stupid. Like, when we really get down to this whole thing with Evelyn and Jen, it's understand you really called this girl's daughter a whore. Like, you really did. You, you literally talked about this girl's daughter like bad. And you weren't just any random person. You're a person that sat and watched this girl grow up, and the girl called you auntie and all of this. And you basically... Everything that you've seen of the child growing up and used it all against and called this girl a whore. And talked about how she grew up and all. You really did this. Like, for real, for real. You sat around and you said shit that you've been wanting to say for years. Because y'all fell out a little bit and you went and just unloaded everything that you felt like saying about Evelyn and her daughter for years. 
So really, how does somebody really forgive you for that? Like, for real, I know there's people that don't really care for Evelyn and all of that kind of thing. But just think about it for real, for real. Some motherfucker that, that sat around and watched you raise your child kept a checklist up in their head about all of what they perceive to be your mistakes and your parenting. And then the first time y'all have a falling out, they go into the street and tell people about it and, and are out there dragging you and your parenting and dragging your baby. Evelyn's handling it better than I would. Because I'd have been to beat the brakes off of Jennifer. I don't think there's anything that could have let could have stopped me from getting to her. But then when she tried to spin that thing, and I think Evelyn did one of my numbers and just got mad like that. You're not gonna play with me. You're not gonna play with me and change the narrative and try to make it seem like I'm doing something or like I'm being petty or I'm on some old other shit. You talked about my mother. She never talked about your mother, you crazy whore. She never talked about your mother and stop it. You've been using your mother dying for an excuse and that's what she said. You did and you have and you are. She ain't said nothing about your dead ass mammy. She ain't said nothing. See that right there that I said something but she ain't said nothing about your mammy. Nothing. Not nothing. She said nothing disrespectful about your mother at all. Jennifer, you just trying to use that to try to get some sympathy. You full of shit. And then the other part about this, did y'all notice she brought Dominique there? She's using Dominique. Like she said when they, oh, she brought a hype woman. That's exactly what she brought Dominique for. She put Dominique right into a precarious position, which was ugly. You brought her there with a bunch of women that she don't know. You ain't no fighter. And she obviously don't mind. And you got her in a position where she may have to end up duking down with some girls she don't even know. Shady, shady, shady. I didn't like that at all. And I definitely had myself set up. To, I said, I'm not going to hate Dominique. I'm not going to not like Dominique. I understand Dominique. I understand where she's coming from. And I was sitting there praying. I didn't care. See, because this is how I, how I ended up not falling for the bullshit because I didn't care about Evelyn and Jennifer making up. I don't care if Evelyn and Jennifer ever make up. You understand me? I really don't. I, Jennifer, I ain't got no use for her. For that very reason, how you sat around with that click list and then you unloaded those nasty things that you always wanted to say instead of just saying them to your friend. If you thought she was a terrible parent, you should have said it back then. So she could have punched you in your face with, before the cameras was rolling 20 years ago. But anyway, Jennifer's full of shit. Um, after that all broke out, they broke them all up and everything. And then uh, Evelyn and damn Dominique got to going at it because Dominique got sucked into the abyss. You know, and we I understood all that. Um, they go over to the house. The other ones are over at their house and Shawnee and Jackie decided to go over and, and, and it was good that Evelyn was, Evelyn was out of pocket. She's jumping on tables and shit and doing all that. Like, Oh, Evelyn. And she said, you know, I don't want to fight with Dominique. She's like, I understand that girl. I understand why she has the stance that she has, but I ain't got no problem with her. And I, I hope she knows that. And they said, well, we're going to go down and talk to her. And, and I was so glad. Because at the same time, I think in the midst of how everything broke out, I think we didn't see Jennifer talking a lot of shit. And I think there's some things that Jennifer has said. See, you know how sometimes you be with a bitch and they be saying all kind of shit. And then when you meet the person they talking that shit about, you be like, that, child, that don't sound right. I think that's what happened with Dominique in that short little period of time that everything that Jennifer has been saying has not added up. And you could tell at a point that Dominique really didn't want to be. You could see it as the program went on. She didn't want to be in that whole stand to the side us against this whole house. Of life. She didn't want to be in that position at all. And I think she got to see Jennifer for the ridiculous ass bitch that she is. They went down there. Jennifer did this whole thing. And I said, hmm, 
Something in me would not let me fall in. But I saw Jackie and I saw Shawnee. They fell right into it. Jennifer got to talking about, you know, I messed up and I really need my friends. And then I didn't have nobody. Me, 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 me. Your mama died. But me, 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 me. You thought she died. You thought she was grieving her own goddamn death. You know, it's, I was messed up. And I may have said something... You know, she almost, like, she literally almost got it out. She almost admitted wrongdoing, and then she stopped it. But they got it all together. They went back up there. Shawnee and Jackie relay all the information to Evelyn, and Evelyn ended up breaking down the same way Shawnee and Jackie did, because they told her, she's messed up, girl. She really is messed up. And there's that thing in there. Even with them arguing, them falling out, there's still a 20-year friendship Evelyn does love Jennifer. She mad as hell at her, but she do love her. And you can see that. And she fell into the abyss. She did. She fell into the abyss. And she said, okay, I'll go to dinner. And then she said, girl, I think you're actually going to get a, she's going to actually apologize and y'all go ahead and work. And Evelyn was actually on board to take the apology and then make it do what it did. Not me, but okay. I said, mm, all right. I was like, and I was saying to myself, honest to God, y'all, and I know y'all like James, 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 I was saying to myself, you know, you old hard bitch and you need to stop. You really need to stop. You're being really mean. You don't even know these people, but I, I just couldn't move it. I'm sorry. I couldn't move it. it. There's just some lines that you just don't cross. And when it comes to my kids and my mother, I just, I see red. I don't, and, and I know I do. I know I do. And I probably need to work on that. But it's hard for me to rationalize. I see red when it comes to my kids and my mom. I do. I just see red. And that's what I'm seeing. And I'm like, mm -mm, something will not let me fall into all this crying that they're doing. I'm like, and you know, usually I'm a softie. Girls get to crying, honey, and I be crying right with them, honey. But I wouldn't. I didn't drop a tear. I said, I felt bad for Ev. something ain't right. Anyway, at the same time, when all that was going on, Malaysia got a chance to talk to Kristen. And she told her, you know, I talked to Byron and this is what it is. Byron's really hurt. You know, this is his standpoint about how y'all didn't bring the baby down and y'all need to really fix it. And she said, you know what? I'm going to apologize to Byron. And Thomas really is hurt. And Kristen started crying and she was like, you know what? Okay. And she just admitted wrongdoing. You know, and remember, I've been real stern about that whole thing with the date that this one didn't come and that one didn't come. I said, they're all full of shit, as far as I'm concerned. But whatever. I said, you know what? I'm glad to see that it's going to be over and she's going to make her move that she needs to move and Byron's going to make his move, possibly, that he needs to move and just fix that shit because that needs to be fixed. And OG, they're like, I, I don't want to hear nothing about the OG because she lying, Byron ain't tell her she could be using that against me as no weapon. We're going to leave that alone. I'm going to fix the family stuff and fuck OG. I was like, okay, well, I'm there with that. So they end up going out to dinner. They get out to dinner. And they get to playing this little question game. And they're asking questions around the table. And then they then the questions start really coming out. Malaysia. Kristen bust out and put Malaysia on the spot. Malaysia was like, no, nah, I'm going to smack the shit out of her. Girl, could you and Jen ever pass it up? She's like, I, no. <laughs> I said, damn, Malaysia. <laughs> Malaysia ain't here for the shit at all. Um, and she, she, Jennifer gets asked by Ev, did you say something about Shawnee's? That bitch sat at that table and literally made Shawnee and Jackie look like two lying ass fools. No. And the attitude was just as funky. No. I said, you know what? Evelyn, bitch, you better than me. You're better than me, Evelyn. Because I promise you, I would have sat at that table and I would have waited until they ordered, brought my order. And if I hadn't ordered something with hot gravy, I would have, can you bring me some hot gravy? Potatoes. And baby, when that plate would have came, that little cute little white and black dress she had on, baby, I would have gave her all those potatoes and that gravy, honey. I would have. I'd have did that. I promise y'all, it'd have been something. 
potatoes marinara sauce with hot ass noodles, something. I would have gave her something. Hey, I'd have gave her a scalding hot, sticking, staining experience. I would have. I would have because I did. No. I'm so old. She had them looking foolish out there in that street. They went on, finished up dinner, and went about their business. Then things wrapped. And then the next day, you know, they were doing their thing. They got fixing up breakfast. And you could tell that's when we I knew when Dominique got up, Jim was still in the bed playing that old nasty mean girl role. Well, I don't feel like this now. Dominique was getting dressed. She said, I'm going on up here with the other ladies and I'm going to make something that really will make everybody feel good. I'm going to go up here and cook. I'm going to do what I do. I knew then. I said, Dominique not no bad person. She's not no bad person. She got sucked into the abyss by that demon. And she just you know, she don't want to be in that space. She don't want to not like these ladies. She see these ladies are probably fun to hang out with. She don't want to be in a thing of against these ladies. <clears throat> and she went on up without Jen. And she's up there getting along and everything was fine. And she talked to Evelyn and she said, well, you know, would you be willing to talk to her? She's like, because that was her whole thing. I don't want to talk to her when it's everybody around. Well, you did all the fuck shit when everybody else was around. You're full of shit, Jennifer, bitch. Anyway, she ended up, they ended up separating out. Jennifer came up. Dominique went down and got Ev, brought her back upstairs and had them had her little conversation and she still didn't admit to what all she said. She just said, I messed up. and I'm just, Anything that I said wrong, you know, that, that ain't apologies. Anything I said wrong or anything I might have said. Evelyn accepted her apology. I don't know what that was about. And then Evelyn apologized to Dominique. That made me happy. I was glad that Dominique and Evelyn made an apology and I hope Dominique and Evelyn become friends because the way they act I think they could actually make decent friends and get rid of Jennifer push her into the abyss that she seems to like to stay in I I still I can't and Evelyn took this she took the apology reluctant but she took it she told her I miss you too you know and I think what Shawnee was telling her about you know how she's really messed up and she feels alone and all. She really bought into that and it really hit her in a place. But mm, mm, hot gravy or hot marinara, that's what she'd have got for me. Period. <laughs>